peaceful place to meditate or do some yoga sadhana. There are many peaceful places. But before that, I want to tell you a story. Story from a specific book. See, this book is called Heart of Yoga. Written by TKV Deshika Char. So, Deshika Char is a son of Krishnamacharya. Krishnamacharya is very famous yoga guru. You know, he, you can say he restarted this yoga in this situation. Like in this book, page number 103, there is a very beautiful story. I thought of sharing it to you. Let me read it for you. A friend of mine came to India thinking it would be, it would do him good to live alone for a two or three years in Himalayas. How he found a nice place and spent three, three years there. He had a few books with him and practiced sadhana indeed. He practiced intensely. One day he came to me to work on few asanas and to study the Yoga Sutra. When he arrived in Madras, he said he had a, the feeling that a lot had been going on him on for him. He seemed very happy. He used very complicated expressions such as Sabija Samadhi. When he was talking about his development in the Himalayas. Then he found a simple room to rent on the grounds of the Theosophical Society in Madras, a quiet and peaceful place where he would not disturb. After two days, he told me he had changed his mind and wanted to look for a large place to live. I was a bit surprised and asked him why he was all of a sudden looking for a big house. I have gotten to know a woman. My whole life has suddenly changed. I do not judge this change of heart. I simply want to point out that my friend was not really who he thought he was. A place like retreat, monastery can be a help, but the real test for the, this experience would be a city like Madras with its teeming population. The real test for someone from Madras would be to see what it is like living in a secluded monastery. I am sure that there are people who could not last more than a one day in that kind of quiet. Someone who is uncertain of themselves, on the other hand, would only last a day in Madras. Change help. We must look at both fire and water if we want to experience how we will treat to them. That is why Yama is so important. For it includes our relationship with different people at different times. In this way, we can experience who we are. This is very interesting book. One of the interesting book I read. So one of my guests who stayed in 9 years in UK, one and a half year in US. After all of that, he went to Sadhguru. In Koyamutur. He did so many courses till Shunya. After Shunya, he realized his body is getting weaker and weaker and started coming back to the normal life. After that, he found that Sai Baba of Shirdi Sai Baba and he started practicing about some, like reading some book about him. Then he found something with Siddhi Sai Baba and he is doing some ritual or reading of Siddhi Sai Baba, you know. So, it's life, you know, like you have to find your own way. So, I hope you got some answer from 
this book and the story specifically even if you are staying in himalayas or anywhere if you come back to the normal life so how you react to this normal life you know how you get into this materialistic world that is very important to test yourself go to very silent place and do your sadhana and come back to very crowded place with materialistic world and see how your behavior is there you will find a result of your sadhana or you can say how spiritually progressed i hope this video helped you please comment below and share your view about this our experience if you have any please subscribe this channel and connect with me thanks for watching namaste